All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, Akim. Slack in one moment. is the song we sing so I'll keep with that so I'm going to title this one this is the song we sing and um, let's jump into a scripture on that right away this is going to Psalms 96 real quick okay so I can one second Psalms 96 and verse 1 Sing on to Yahweh, okay? Sing on to the Lord a new song. Sing on to the Lord all the earth. Sing on to the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day, okay? And these brothers around here, we all sing the same song, okay? The chorus ain't off, you know what I mean? We're singing the same song. We're in the same body. Okay, our mind is with one accord. You know, you got these other camps. They're not singing the song right. You know, these other, uh, these wacky tacky plantation Christians, they're not singing the song right. But the men of the Lord, we're singing the song right. Lord willing that we be those men. Okay. So let's go into another scripture. I'll just download this, um, other app here but those other apps are moving slow so I have to download this new app and it's actually uh it's working kind of good it's going to Psalms let's see Psalm 68 starting from uh verse 3 but let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, yea, let them exceedingly rejoice, sing on to God, sing praises to his name, exalt him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, and we know it says Jah, but Yah, which is uh, going into, you know, that short form, right, but it's really Yahweh. And rejoice before him. Let's go into another scripture. Well, actually, let's see if I can get this real quick. Alright, let's go into another scripture here so I can. Oh, man, can't even move it like that. Oh, shit. So I can. I thought this was like the other um, Bible apps where you can move it and slide it, but you can't. You got to go back out and go into the actual um, into the actual uh, book itself and go through which verse to pick. But anyways, so anyways, these uh, people out here, they're not singing the song right, okay? They're a vanity, okay? And that's why Psalms chapter 94 and verse 11 says, The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are a vanity, okay? And with all that bullshit JC teaching and all that crap right there, that's vanity, okay? That's things of the world. There is no salvation within that, okay? You got to sing the song right. And they're not singing the song right, okay? They're erring, okay? This is the right noise. This is the joyful noise. This is the joyful song that is to be sung unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? Now that JC crap, that's off. Okay? 
as you see the music uh, notes up on the screen you know we have a um as you say um the man at the head of the orchestra okay when he's giving order when he's saying you know you hit this note you hit that note okay the brothers don't say you know what let me just <laughs> let me just change this up right now i think i could think of another better uh note to to add into here no we go according to the to what is written okay we stay according to to what is written we don't go off course with the melody okay at least the conductor say you know what you out get out of here you know yeah a brother may slip a brother may slip and and he will repent from that right and get it right but the um you know you you can't be up there adding notes in you you ain't the um orchestrator of this you know so as it is written we sing it okay psalms 95 and verse uh one oh come let us sing unto the lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation okay now when you go into um amos chapter 5 and verse 23 you know you you rappers out there you're making a joyful noise unto the lord and all you other individuals out there who are singing this song because that rap crap that's part of the world okay you want to mix uh how do you say it? christian rap and all that no that's part of the world man okay and you could tell that's plantation christianity man that you would get such a thought to say yeah let me let me go mix this word of yahweh shimmy Shai with rap you know let me get that let me get those churches you know the church of beyonce and all these things you can't you can't mix and mingle this with <laughs> this is the perfect song okay it's been written right okay no reconstruction please okay so emos 5 and 23 you know you got these plantation Christians out here who ain't singing a song right. Lord, Lord said, get that noise away from me, man. I don't want to hear that. And also do, you have people who are of the circumcision who are not, um, you know, speaking these things right. They're not singing it right. They're adding their own, adding their own um, bars in there, as we'd say, you know. So, going back to the scripture, Psalms 95 and verse 1. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Okay, the Lord hears when we're, you know, going through these scriptures and giving the breakdowns. There's a scripture that tells you, um, Lord, knowest that thou, uh, let me see if I can find it. Thou knowest that I have not withheld my tongue in the congregation, okay, from speaking these words, right? And we're just singing it right, okay? Um, Slaki or something just came up here. So going back into this, let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. This is, is that joyful noise unto him, man. You know, we're rehearsing these righteous acts. We're singing according according to what the um, master has put down for us to sing. Okay. Uh, let's go to Second Ezra, real quick. This book takes so long, man. So I can just go here and go to this one. Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse. Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, and we're used. This is this is the song, okay, 
that we're singing on to Yehovah Shem Yom Shai. And within it is found our mournings, our lamentations. Okay. And the Lord heareth that. And, you know, <laughs> he, he's getting angry. Okay. He's going to lay that uh, vengeance. Okay. Because more on so in, the, in that scripture you get to see. Okay. Going for our revelation. Might as well go to this one because this one seems to be moving faster. Some of these apps here, I don't know why they move so slow, but chapter 2 and 15 second um, Corinthians chapter 2 and verse uh, 15 for we are unto God a sweet Savior of Hamashiach in them that are saved and in them that perish okay and going back to um Revelation chapter 8 and verse 5. Oh my gosh. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 5. That's why it's better. I'm more uh, better with the phone, with this phone, you know, with the phone app than this tablet app, man. It's going all over the place. Revelation chapter 8. And verse 4. Oh, Slakia. And verse 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all, all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended before God ascended up before God out of the angel's hand okay and when we're speaking when we're out there on the um, highways and byways speaking these words you know this goes up before Yahweh Shem Shai. going back to um second Ezra okay all these things are presented before the most high he heard these things okay so this song that we're singing okay on to Yahweh Shem is as a sweet you know as a sweet savior as a good smell before him you know as a good song before him Salakia you know you know when you hear that song from you know, one of those 80s songs or one of those old, old, old school songs, you know, 70s or 60s, that actually makes sense. You know, not these songs nowadays. These songs nowadays is just garbage, you know. You know, it's as it's, it's, it's a, um, I don't want to say a warming feeling, but you, you, get, you get the understanding of that song, you know, and you cherish it, you know. When that song comes on on the radio, you get a you get a moving with that song, right? So say it same way it is with when we're speaking these words properly, in one accord, singing the song right. You know, the Most High is, is glad with that. Okay, he's happy with that. But these other people they going off in doctrine. You know, you got the wacky tacky plantation Christians who are out there singing a song going off you know they're all off course you know and you got these uh, wacky tacky plantation Christians that want to mix hip hop you know with 
a rap with Christian, all this bullshit, okay? You gotta sing the song right, and we sing the song right, okay? And with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim, I hope you're edified. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 13 Wa Abad Shalom.